Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Tech Talk and Tech Unbox. In today's video, we'll be checking a new Unify Switch Enterprise APOE, which is a layer 3 switch. I've replaced this switch with my older layer 2 switch USW8 150W. This is the Unify Switch new Enterprise APOE, which is a layer 3 switch. So we will unbox this switch and adopt it on the Hostify controller for the very first time and later on we will check the specification and configuration of it also we will check what are the difference between the layer 2 and the layer 3 in Unify this is the box of the Unify switch at the top you see the switch image and the ubiquity logo and on the back side you will see the naming of the switch and the labeling of the switch and the specification the layer 3 po is switch with 8 port and all 8 port are 2.5 gb and it support 802.380 poe plus rj45 ports and 210g sfp plus ports so you can see this is the layer 3 switch and you can check the feature it got a 1.3 lcm screen 2.5 GB interface also you can check the package content what you get inside the box the switch itself the wall mount screws and the power cord and this is the diagram specification for the unify 8 enterprise pure switch so let's unbox it and check what do we get inside the box so you can unbox it from here you have to just peel this off and we have to open it and see what we get so you can see the switch here this is the switch and so this is the power cord you get for the switch we keep it aside and let's remove this all and check the switch itself so let's remove the switch this is the switch leveler when you mount on the wall you can check the levels of it okay and this is the mount you will if you want to mount it on a wall you can place it on the wall like this and you can hook the unified switch on that like on, on the back side you can see the hook so back here you get the hook so you can mount it on the switch so this switch is quite heavy just check the back side here you get the power cord options and there is a locking button also so you can lock the power cord and this switch feels quite premium so this is the LCM screen 1.3 inch generation Unify switch gets and that is all 8 ports and all 8 ports are the PoE and it support 2.5 GB interface you can see 2.5 G and these two ports are the 10 G SFP plus port and you get a reset button here also this switch feels like quite I mean passive it doesn't i'm not sure it, it does have fan or not but you can see the spaces the ventilations so if you mostly these switch are decks mounted or you can mount on a wall so yeah this look quite clean so we will power it and it adopt it on the controller and check what are the specification of this switch so let's boot the switch for the very first time and then we will connect this switch with the UXT light here so you have to remove this and you have a power cord here so here is the power cord you have to place this and you have to lock it so you can lock and unlock by this so right now it is locked okay and here let's boot it for the very first time i have powered it on so just let wait for the usw to start so it says usw is starting 
also let me connect the usw enterprise to the uxt light so it is booting right now so let me grab the password from the uxt light and connect it over to the switch port one So the switch is starting right now. I have connected the LAN port to the port one of the enterprise switch. So this switch is porting for the very first time. So this might take some time. Also, if you guys haven't watched my the USD light adoption video, I will put down the video in the I button up. You can check that out. So. I have shown the adoption process of the UXG light and the booting and everything. You can check on that video. So it still says USW is starting. So all LEDs are blinking, even the 10G also. And it's finishing up. So you can see now uh, you can check the ports, Ethernet ports 1 to 8. You can check everything here. So yeah, you can check the link on GBA, PSPOE, okay, and you can check here what IP does it get, and Unify OS console and everything here, and this is the stats, the throughput, and the switch ports, and here in the setting you can increase the brightness, okay, and here you can check the fan speed auto. Okay. It's, so this switch got a fan I think yeah so right now the it is set to the auto speed rpm 82 and it shows 39 fan speed you can restart the switch from here yeah that's it you get so let's adopt it on the controller and check the specifications what you can do this new enterprise APA switch so as soon as i connected this laptop directly i mean the macbook directly to the switch port the switch shows up on the controller showing pending adoptions as you can see here it says click to adopt so i will just go ahead and click adopt and it will be adopting so we will see what do we get on this switch on the controller what uh i mean the layer 3 and the layer 2 difference of this switch after i get provision so we can check the layer 3 also options on the switch so we can check about this switch so this is the 8 port all 8 port are the poe 802.3 af80 poe plus and all 8 ports are 2.5 gb rj45 ports so that's a, a quite jump like uh with the normal unified switch you get a one gig port of rj45 but this is something you get on the enterprise level switch all ports are 8 2.5 gb so uh, you can power the u6 enterprise and any other uh, devices which supports 2.5 gb also on this switch you can uh, you get a two 10 gig SFP plus ports you can see here SFP here and you can check the MAC address even you can check the fan level temperature of this switch if you go to the inside you get the system performance another setting you change the name and the brightness night mode of the switch so it's still provisioning at the moment so we'll see so I think uh, it got provision now all the leds are blinking on the switch all the 8 port and even 2 10 gig sfp ports are also blinking so i think we might lose the internet for a moment i think we lost the internet connection because the switches get provisioning you can see the interface got disconnected that's why so, I think after booting, uh, we will get the inter internet connection back on the switch itself. So internet should be back now. You can see the ping response and I can browse it. 
So we are back, and the USW Enterprise shows offline. So I hope it should come back online. So yeah, it came up, and it says click to update. I'll upgrade later on. You can see the PoE power availability 125 with the total maximum wattage this switch gets. And you can check the firmware version. It's quite running older firmware version. We'll upgrade it later on. And the switch temperature is 47 in the memory usage, apparent device. And from the inside, you can check the performance, the memory, and the usage. What clients are connected, you can check even here. And in the setting, you can name the switch. You can set the static or DSCP. Okay. And what I want to show you uh, under the networks tab to create a virtual network. So under the router, you get an options to third party gateway or the UXG gateway live. So I think I have to upgrade the firmware version first and then we can check the layer 3. So right now it is updating the firmware on the switch. So the Unify switch is updated to the latest version. As you can see here, USW Enterprise HPO is updated to the latest firmware version which was available 6.6.53 and you can check the temperature also it uh, goes up to high up to 4 degrees celsius right now it says 51 and even you can check the fan level memory usage of it and under the inside we can check the performance of it like the memory usage and the cpu time so now we can add the layer 3 features here i have added a one network called a test layer and under the router, I have used Enterprise 8POE, even you get a UXG option. So for this network, uh, all the DSCP and uh, traffic route will be handled using USW Enterprise 8POE. And uh, I have set the auto scale network, so it is using VLAN uh, ID2. So you can submit here and I have applied those changes. So in here in Unify, after you create a layer 3 routing with the unify switch and additional automatically inter vlan routing is enabled with the vlan id 4043 you can see here so here in this case it created a network of 10.2 uh, uh, 10.255.253.0 slash 24 so on this uh, this is the gateway ip which is 10.255.253.1 which is a Unify Gateway IP and the switch gateway IP, the layer 3 switch IP will be dot .2 like 10.255.253.1 is the gateway IP if you have a Unify Gateway and it will uh, be dot .2 if you uh, with the layer 3 Unify switch and later on it includes to dot .3 if you add any other layer 3 switch at the layer 3 so this is how it works and even you can create a static routing and uh, uh, between uh, you can use the hop and even you can use the interface like uh, all uh, details with the layer 3 switching you can get here with the unify guide unify switch layer 3 routing so here you can see they have said the same things like automatically it uh, added a VLAN ID 4040 as a VLAN routing name inter VLAN. So the first switch L3 routing is enabled on it will use this IP and dot one IP address will be if Unify Gateway is present, it will use dot one IP and additional layer three Unify switches use dot three IP address. So the default gateway of the L3 switches will be 10.255 dot uh, 253 dot one only as you can see here so uh in addition you can uh, add a static routing dscp server and dscp relay as i said you before you can create a static routing to the next hop ip address even you can create dscp server right now I, i've already created dscp server even you can uh uh, use a DSCP relay forward DSCP request to and another DSCP server. So as you know that the basic L3 is done here with the Unify sites. It's not like a fully layer 3 feature supported on the Unify layer 3 switch. And even on the ports, we can check the VLANs and everything. Like here you can see the all the ports are, are supporting inter VLAN routing 4040. So 
this unified switch uh, enterprise is quite nice uh, the form factor and uh, even you get uh, the 1.3 inch lcm screen and all the uh, ports switch it's supported 2.5 gig uh, so that's quite nice even you can get sfp plus port two sfp plus you can use that so i think that's it for the today's video uh hope you like this video and uh, if you like this video you can comment down and share and subscribe to my channel uh, make sure to comment down if you have any questions regarding the new unified switch usw enterprise view thanks for watching bye